Hey, thanks for watching my 200th video that I've made. Uh, this one here is exciting for me for sure, and it's definitely a true creek fishing adventure. Oh yeah, it's about to be on. I'm excited because I'm going to do what I love to do. My favorite kind of fishing to do today. This building back here uh, came down here about a month ago and we did, we did some air conditioning work on it down here in Chattanooga, about 20, 30 minutes away from where I live. But right beside it, behind me over here, there's a ditch that goes through here. And of course I noticed there's a creek in there. So I'm going to get down there and explore a little more today. I haven't fished it at all yet. I've uh, just kind of looked it up on the map, kind of see where it goes. I have no idea really what I'm going to get into, but it's going to be fun. I came down here about a couple weeks ago, walked down to this point, and it's, you can tell the water is really clear, but it's also real shallow, not a lot of water flow, but it, it opens up really wide. So I'm really curious to see what's going on, but it's gonna go under several bridges in between several businesses. I got four pound line, my favorite creek setup, uh, six foot light pole, and I'm gonna start off with a crick hopper today. I haven't actually used a crick hopper in a while, but Whenever I'm exploring a new place, it's definitely something I like to use. Oh, oh, I see something coming. Oh, I got a hit, getting a hit. Little fish. There's one. There's the first one. It's a little guy, but I'm just doing exploring just to find out what's in here. A red breast. I could have told you there was red breast in here before I even came, but. Little red breast sunfish. Oh, I think I see a little bass. I see a little, real little bass, I think. He pecked at it. Oh, oh yeah, there's two or three little bass. There's a bunch of little, little fish and they're all just pecking at my lure. <laughs> they're just like coming up and hitting it. Oh, there's a nice little bass. A little bit bigger bass. Dude, there's fish in here that, it looks like there's nothing, all of a sudden fish show up. There's several little bass in here. There's one. Number two, a long ear. Really nice. Beautiful fish. Those are just awesome. Well, there's a lot more fish in here than I, than I even thought. I've seen so many little fish I'm standing in about a foot and a half of just super clear water. And uh, I've seen little bass, bluegill, or several different species of sunfish anyways, and some bass. I couldn't tell if they're spotted or largemouth. They won't stop attacking though. Bluegill, third species, three catches, three different species. Little specimens, but very interesting. I love to see the diversity in a just a little little stream. Oh man, I don't know if you can see it through the water or not, but there's all kinds of I don't know if those are shiners or just some kind of minnows. There's a little largemouth bass right there, probably eight or ten inches long. There's just sunfish going every which way. The creek bottom's gravel and rocky. Water's clear and calm, just a little bit cool. Ooh, what is that? Red breast over there. Oh, there's one. See if he stays on here. Uh, bluegill. Biggest one yet. Just seeing all kinds of them around though. Little bluegill. Oh yeah, there's some. Another red breast. A little bit bigger one. That's good. Moving up in size a little. Oh wow, it's a really colorful long ear. Good looking fish there. A 
That guy wouldn't be denied. A green sunfish, another species. What am I up to? I think four different sunfish that we've caught out of here. There's the green sunfish to join the party. What do we got on this one? Literally every cast I'm getting a bite. Every cast there's something hitting at it. Um, about every third or fourth cast I actually hook up on something like that little bluegill. Oh, I got one. He's so little, I couldn't feel him on there. Long ear. Long ear don't really get really big. It's not that I know of anyways. But they are aggressive little fish that will just attack anything. Alright, what has he got? Uh, let's see. Another red breast. This little crick hopper is wearing them fish out. They just see it and they have to hit it. And they chase it. There's like, there'll be four or five little ones just chasing it while I'm reeling it in. <laughs> little ferocious fish. Green sunfish. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors on that long ear. Dude. That is just super colorful. Two pretty either largemouth or spots. Ah, oh, they won't hit it. Uh-huh, you don't want it, huh? I keep looking at it, but they won't hit the crick hopper. Same thing in the bass downstream uh, that I saw. I think it's time to make a lure change, see if I can try to get some of these little bit bigger bass to bite. All right, well, I'm not wasting no time. I'm going straight to the Helgramite on a, uh, I think it's a 1 15th ounce jig head. I still see these little bass in there. This would be a mouthful for these little guys. But it might be just what they want. Oh. Took a little nip out of it. Oh, no. They both took a little nip out of it and then uh, kind of moved on. Let's see if I can get them hit again. Yep. <laughs> I feel like they can't turn it down whenever I use the Helgramite. Especially in these clear, rocky creeks and stuff. I get it and sometimes I'll just get it on the ground and let them uh, let it you know sit there and just twitch it but if I can see the fish I have a lot better chance of getting and this is a lot bigger bass than I thought I was gonna get that's a that's a pretty good little bass right there look how chunky that little thing is really pretty largemouth bass and um, there's I've seen several so maybe I can find some more of these that's a fun fish to catch on Creek in a creek on this uh, light action setup and everything. Strong little fish. There's another thing using this Helgramite. You are definitely going to pull out the bigger sunfish, but you will get tons of bites on it. They'll just peck at it to death. They love this little thing. Did I get him? I got something. Something little on it. Probably another green sunfish. They got bigger mouths, but that's a pretty green sunfish. Oh, there's a little bass. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep, yep. Dude, there's like a ton of little bass in here. And there's one of them. <laughs> that is awesome. There's like four or five. Oh, oh, oh. One of them just went downstream. Two or three of them with me. Dude, they are all over the place right here. Where you at? Where you at? They're just hanging out in little schools. They kind of all spooked whenever I reeled this one in. But uh, there was probably four or five little largemouth about this size. Fun size to catch. 
All right, switching to the Helgramite was a good choice. Really brought out some more fish and allowed me to catch these bass. All right, where'd those other ones go? Oh, there he is. There's another one. Oh, they're still over there. There's still two or three over there. I didn't know where, oh, nice. I don't know where they came from. They, they can hide in these rocks and come out of nowhere. And they are strong little fish. Come on, come on. Easy to. Wow, that's a little bit bigger. That's a stout little bass. Look at that, look at that Helgramite done in there. All right, I'm gonna put him back in here. And um, I think there may be a couple more hanging around. But if I catch more of these bass, that is some fun fishing. Uh, I'm just gonna cast right back up there where I caught those. Kind of get it to a calm spot. Oh, what? Oh, I had a hit. And I got another one. I saw him eat it. <laughs> Dude, I am so glad I came to this creek. Had no idea it was gonna be like this. Look at these. Look at these little chunks. I couldn't get them to hit my crook hopper for nothing, but they are killing the Helgramite. Come on, Mr. Bass. You know you want it. Of course he wants it. He has to have it. If there's a bass in here, he has to hit this lure. What I'm doing, I'm just casting it out and uh, the water's real clear, so it helps me see it. And I'm just kind of working it back slow, finding a nice calm area to kind of twitch it a couple times, watching, uh, kind of watching for a bass to show up to look at it. I just twitch it, let it pause. And most of the time he's just coming up and just hitting it right away. Yeah, if he's in the area, but some pretty little large mouse. Oh, I see something coming. Come on. Come on. Hit it. Got him. He took a little coaxing to get, kind of had to twitch it in front of his face a few times. But I saw a little bit bigger. Oh, he just got done eating something. He just spit up something there. Something half digested, look like. Or... Ow. Nice little large mouth. A <laughs> large mouth and his, this creek is just feasting on everything. They're definitely healthy. Man, this is just an awesome creek. I can't believe, I really can't believe how much fish is in here. I wish I could have shown you all the fish that I've seen swimming around, so just all the kind of stuff. But just this uh, clear water, this walkway. I'm gonna hit under this bridge here, then I'm gonna go back to where I started. All right, I'm back down to the stretch where I came through with the crick hopper and saw several bass, but couldn't get them to hit, but caught a lot of sunfish. I made one lure change, just to kind of changed it up a little bit. Same uh, jig head, but uh, the Z-Man Ned Rig, the peanut butter and jelly. I think it'll work too, but I kind of just want to see how it does. There's one. Come on over here. Nice. This is back where the uh, section where I kind of started and I'd, I saw a few bass in there and um, they just didn't even look at my lure. But man, he hit that PB and J pretty good. Oh yeah, he followed it up. This is, uh, this is right here is the bridge 153. And this is where I was gonna go originally. Maybe I should have, but I'm glad I went upstream to explore that and realize there's a lot of bass in here. So um, there's so many of these little bass aside, so I'm gonna fish around this area and that's gonna be about it for the night. Oh, where did he come from? I couldn't see him. I can't really see into the water that good. It's a little bit mu uh, muddy right here. And I was just following it in, just bringing it in right there and saw some little ones uh, pecking at it. This guy just comes out of like nowhere, just eats it up. Look at that, he just ate that thing. All right, get back in here. All 
There's a fish. Uh, maybe. Yep, I think I got him hooked. Oh, he's not a bad little bass. Pretty guy. That may be the one I missed a couple times. He's looked about that size. He's some good, healthy looking fish. Really nice. There's another one. Man, this little place is loaded up with them. What is this? Oh, ah, that was a rock bass. Oh, he's still right there in front of me. Hold on. He'll probably hit this thing again. Oh, he hit it again, but I missed him again. Is he still there? There he is. I knew he'd come back for it. These dudes don't give up. That's the first rock bass I've caught. I thought there'd be more rock bass. I kind of thought that when I saw how rocky this creek was and how clear it is, but it's the first one. There's one. What is that? Green sunfish. All right, well, here's the highway 153. Starting to get a little dark, so I've got to be Kind of be on the lookout, just be careful going in places like this. You just don't ever know what's going on, but you know, I got my God and my Glock on my side. Oh, got a fish. All right, this may be my last one. Whoa, hooked him in the eyeball. He just must have followed it up. Kind of, I never felt him hit, and all of a sudden I had him on there. Nah, he's fine. But a little largemouth there. What an awesome place to explore. And uh, next time, I definitely want to go downstream. Dude, this creek is untapped. I haven't seen a sign of anybody fishing it or anything like that. Oh, wow, what a jump. So it's just a great place just to catch some fish, just load up on all kinds of fish that nobody's fishing for. Oh, oh, I got one. I thought, uh... oh, he's a little one. Red breast. I saw some big red breast beds up in there. All right, maybe this is my last one. I'll just make a couple more casts. We'll see what happens. Another one. Dude, these fish are not done eating. This little spot right by the highway here is loaded up, absolutely loaded with fish. And they're all hungry. Look at that, I'll catch that little chunky bass all day. That food is thick too. Look at, for a little little bass, that's a thick looking little fish. Oh my goodness, I can't stop catching fish. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm just casting as I'm going back up. Keep wearing them out. Nice rock bass. Is that bigger than the first one I caught? Oh yeah, definitely. That's a nice rock bass. Well, thanks for watching that video. I know that was a little bit long. I've been actually messing with making some longer videos, but that video, I've actually, I probably deleted a third of the fish that I caught at least. There were so many fish in that creek and I was only fished that creek for two to two and a half hours. It was a really awesome place to go. Well, thanks for watching my 200th video that I've ever made. And uh, well, some I've made and deleted, so they don't count. But 200th video that I got on YouTube, um, if you're expecting it to get better, it's not going to get any better than this. This is probably about as good as it's going to get. Uh, maybe tweak a few things here and there. I really appreciate, appreciate all the support. Uh, people sending me stuff, people uh, telling me lures to try out, people telling me places to go, uh, all the suggestions, just well, how, what kind of bait to use for this and that. I love hearing that stuff. I love just going out and exploring and finding creeks like this to fish. Um, it's, just, it's just what I like to do. You can also follow me at Creek Fishing Adventures on Instagram and on Facebook. And I believe I got a website set up by now. I think it's uh, about done, at least by the time this video comes out. So you can look that up. If you're interested in sending me anything to try out or to use, yeah, I got a PO box in the description below. This channel has gone way further than I ever thought it would go. The Bible says, in all things give thanks. And I am definitely thankful for what uh, God has allowed me to do. And he's allowed me to share my testimony, my faith uh, through fishing videos and just be an uh, influence and a uh, testimony, I guess, also, but also an encouragement to others. 
really appreciate all the support from everybody and uh, hopefully I can just keep on uh, making videos and having fun doing it. Thanks for watching.